From the National Aquarium in Baltimore to our hometown of Newark, Ohio, Tectum Incorporated has made its name with high quality acoustical panels and insulating roof systems from coast to coast. For over 50 years, commercial and institutional design and construction industries have come to depend on Tectum Incorporated for a wide variety of unique acoustical and architectural systems. Newark, Ohio is home to Tectum's corporate headquarters and manufacturing. Since 1949, every Tectum acoustical and roof deck product has been produced and shipped from within these doors. The process begins as bales of aspen wood fibers, a renewable resource, are shipped to our plant by truck. A system of conveyors moves the bales from the bale house to the third floor of the plant. There, the bales are pulled apart and run through a comber. Next, the aspen fibers move along a conveyor and are distributed to three vertical chutes. The chutes drop the fibers to an oscillating belt where they are evenly distributed. The fibers are then coated with a solution that will eventually bind them together. The binder, composed of magnesium oxide and magnesium sulfate, is produced at the plant and stored in a holding tank. The mixture is then pumped to one of four spray manifolds that apply it to the fibers. After the fibers are thoroughly coated with binder, they are fed to the main collection belt where the base mat is formed. The conveyor uses adjustable sides to form the outside edges of the base mat. The tether board is then used to flatten the top surface of the base mat. A final coat of binder is applied and the mat is now ready to be formed into a rigid board. Steam is introduced in the preheat chamber to raise the temperature of the mat to the point that it will set properly when it passes through the press. A 100-foot press takes the mat and compresses it to the desired thickness. Inside the press, the temperature of the mat will increase from 150 degrees to over 200 degrees during the exothermic reaction of the binder. Upon leaving the press, the now semi-rigid mat receives a flood coat of after-treatment consisting of water, limestone, and sodium silicate. This solution adds filler, strength, and machinability to the final product. The mat then passes through a high pressure area that ensures the entire mat is thoroughly coated with after treatment. The drying process is composed of 10 dryers, five upflow and five downflow. The temperatures of the dryers vary in relation to the thickness of the mat. Next, the mat is fabricated into individual boards. The rough edges are trimmed before the eight-foot mat is cut to the desired width by carbide-tipped saws. A flying cross-cut saw is then used to cut the board at the proper length. Quality control is very important at Tectum Incorporated. Every piece manufactured is thoroughly inspected to ensure that only the best possible product carries the Tectum name. After inspection, the panels are ready for detailing. Custom detailing is performed by mainline routers or through secondary production equipment. From this point, the panels are packaged and ready for shipment. They may be temporarily stored in our warehouse or shipped immediately by truck. Through a worldwide network of distributors and approved applicators, Tectum products have found their way into nearly every corner of the United States and around the world, from restaurants to stadiums to high schools and civic centers. Tectum's unique interior and structural roof deck products have set standards in the design and construction industries for years. Since 1949, Tectum Incorporated has been a proud member of Newark's manufacturing community. And it is our commitment to quality and innovation that will guide us through the 21st century.